Welcome to Straight Talk. Today's topic is an important one. It's about the second leading cause of death, cancer. The majority of Americans say either they or someone in their immediate family have been diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lives. I know this is personal for me and my family. Cancer has no bias. It will attack anyone. What can we do to help? That's what we're going to get into today because if someone has cancer, the cleaning industry can have a huge impact as a support system for those who suffer. My guest today is Alicia Scheel. She's the owner of Eco Cleaning Ohio, which is in Eastlake, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. Her company has been part of that support system the cleaning industry offers for families who suffer from cancer. Hello, Alicia. Thank you for joining us. First, uh, some background. Now, you're both a mom and an entrepreneur. I said wife, mom, entrepreneur. Yes, I, all of it. All of that. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose house cleaning as a career choice? Because it was something that I fell into doing in my early, uh, late teens, early 20s for extra income when I was a, a very young single mother, um, you know, raising my kids, going through a divorce and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So I clean houses. I understand that, of course, you charge for your services, but you also give away some of your services in support of cancer patients and their families. Tell us how that came about. You know, I, a few years ago, my stepmother um, went into full-blown um, another round of cancer, I guess you could mm. say. It, it came back. And it, I think this was actually the third time that she was faced battling it, and she lost this battle. So I was, you know, kind of that, you know, a lean on crutch for my dad at that time, but we lived there in Texas, I'm in Ohio. So, you know, I tried to go online myself and see what's out there, what can help, you know, and my aunt was the one who told me that there was this program and I'm like looking it up and we, we were never lucky enough to have her make it to that stage. Hmm. Um, she had passed prior to, you know, getting any type of help and, but it, it's something that kind of was in my head, like, wait, can't, can I do this for people? Like, let me add this into my business. Now I'm, I've grown a little, I know a lot of people in the community. I have a great support system in our community. Um, and I have built my business on giving back and it was, yeah. And you're speaking of the program, it's the cleaning for a reason program and I say mm-hmm. charity. Yes. And I said charity and it is. Oh my gosh, I don't think there's anything better out there that I've came across personally, yeah. So for all those watching this who are involved in house cleaning within the industry, that's something to look at. Uh, Let's talk about the family you help, but after this sponsor message. ARCSI, the Association for Residential Cleaning Companies, helps you position your business as the professional, trusted, and experienced resource your customers need. ARCSI has the connection to the community and relevant education, training, and events that will help your employees grow and your organization succeed. Start your membership with ARCSI today at arcsi.org. Alicia, talk about yeah. the family you helped. The I know you've done a cleaning for a family. Yeah. What was that like? It was, um, you know, I... I'm not in front of them um, as, you know, I do, I have teams of cleaning cleaners that go out to the homes, but I have to make that initial call. I still run and operate my business on my end. And when I make that initial call to set up an appointment with somebody in the situation and you read the background and the history and you have, you know, knowledge of they're a mom, you know, they're a wife, they're struggling. I mean, they're the people like, I know my husband does not come home from work and scrub the house down. That's just not what he does. Um, So these moms, you know, wives, they're dependent on until they keep the house going, you know, on top of leaving their careers because they came came down sick if they were in a career. So all that and one, and you listen to their story and it's just, it just pulls it, I can't even talk, it pulls at your heart really heavy. So, um, because they don't know what's happening in their own you know, uh, treatment plan at that point. So yeah, you hear a lot. 
So, so your team, they went there and they cleaned for this family. How did they feel about it? They did the work. They were, they were rubbing shoulders with them. Do you know here, I have the best employees, hands down. I will say this again. Um, after work that day, they called me and they said, hey, boss, boss woman. That's what they call me. Boss woman. <laughs> yeah, boss woman. Hey, we don't want paid for today. Because I still pay my girls to go out, of course, because they're go out, going out to work. So uh, I we give that service, but we also make sure that our girls have a you know, money to live on. Um, They chose to opt out of their pay for that day, which I surprised them refused. But just to know that it affected him that them that much as a team that they're like, we want to forfeit our pay. That's amazing. Something about the people we have working for us. Speaking of which, so that this is a great story, helping that family. And I imagine there'll be more down the road. You're going to help as well. Just got a message yesterday. I'm going to reach out today and yeah, you know, someone, yeah, help somebody. Yeah. Um, so thinking about what you've done, if you were to say something to other cleaning companies, other house cleaning professionals, what would you tell them they need to do? They need to give back more. They need to understand that it isn't always about the profit margin. It isn't always about making the most money in the field. If you genuinely have your heart involved in your business and you connect with families and you change lives, it's you are more successful than anybody you know. Success is not by the dollar sign. Well, thank you, Alicia, for all you do for the industry and the Cleaning for a Reason program. You're welcome. Thank you.